I had a lot. I have a lot of thoughts. You heard some thoughts? thoughts? Yeah, because at first I was like, <laughs> why would we do that? Are we are we setting? We're trying to do play setup and matchmaker at your at, at the your wedding. your own wedding. It is after the show, and since Steph is getting married, we thought let's talk a little bit about um, weddings. There's so much to talk about. <laughs> we talked about etiquette on the show, mm -hmm. but I want to talk to you about this idea of meeting someone at a wedding. So this is like even beyond the bride and the groom or the bride and the bride and the groom and the groom. It's more about your guests at the wedding because it is a very fertile ground mm -hmm. for singles to meet other singles. Mm -hmm. So there is a couple that have decided that they are going to be letting everyone who's single and attending their wedding know who else is single. Oh. So that there might be some mixing and mingling happening at the same time. I feel like it's a bit of a stretch. I think it's a lovely <laughs> gesture. Yes. But I also feel like maybe your wedding, maybe you want to focus on you and the groom. But what, how do you feel about it? Is that something you would ever think of doing? Um, I had a lot. I have a lot of thoughts. You heard some thoughts? Yeah, because at first I was like, why would we do that? Are we are we setting? We're trying to do play setup and matchmaker at your at, at the your wedding. own wedding. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's interesting. It is interesting. You know, love is in the air, so I can get why the couple might want to do that. Yeah. Um, I did think about putting all of my singles at the same table. That's a good idea. That, yeah, you could do that. But then I thought, well, they won't know each other. And, you know, this person knows these group of people. So, like, yeah. maybe they could be with those people so that they can mingle and, you That's know. That's true. Would you tell them if you decided to do that? Would you just tell them that, that this... they're at the singles table? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think so. Because they should know. They should know. That everyone I, there I is like, like available. Yes. But I also feel like they would probably gather. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I don't know you and you don't know me. And oh, this is the. Okay. This is, we're figuring this yeah. out. We're <laughs> exactly. the single table. Exactly. Would you ever do that if you could go back in time? No. I mean, I told you, I was upset that people brought their one night stands <laughs> to my wedding. <laughs> I love the idea of meeting um, people at a wedding because yeah. I feel like I have met potential partners at weddings. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's just it's a fun. It's celebratory. Mm -hmm. Everyone looks good. Yep. Looks you know, best. like yep. everyone's looking really good, and um, there is free food mm -hmm. and wine. Free alcohol. Yep. So it's a great it's a great party. I love weddings, but I don't know if I would go that far because, as I said. I didn't love planning my wedding. Mm. I loved being there, being there yep. but I almost wish someone would have done it for me and I could just show up. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is exactly so what I'm doing. I don't. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're very smart. Yeah. yeah. Too much stress. So Too much stress. Is there any advice you would give me since I'm about to walk down the aisle in a couple of months? Yeah. I'm so excited any for you. you give me. On I'm going to give you advice on the wedding day, okay. even though you will. You may ignore me. You might ignore it, just like I ignored it when people told me. Mm -hmm. But it's that. Um, there's a whole lot going on and it's easy to get caught up. Like I'm an A type and I, I'm assuming you are too because you have a lot going on in your life and you're yeah. super organized. Mm -hmm. And there was this time right after the, the photo shoot that the photographer said we're going to location A. Um, and so I was on my way to location A with like the limo with all the bridal party, mm -hmm. but the limo went to the reception. Oh. And I was like, why are we going to the reception when the photographer said go to location A? And I think it was Leo, um, he was like, oh, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Like, I think that we scrapped it. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I want to know what the plan is. Yeah. Because the plan is we were going to go to location. Like, I get yeah. stuck like that. Mm. So then we show up at the reception, I'm crusty. Because <laughs> you think it's to go to location A. Well, are people at location A? Yeah. Did half of us go and I'm not there? Yeah. Why is there a lack of clarity? Mm -hmm. This is my big day. Yep. What's happening? Mm -hmm. And so he bust into the reception space because there was like a jazz band playing outside in the in-between. Okay. If people didn't right. have anywhere to go in between yep. the church and the reception. Mm -hmm. So um, he snuck into the reception and he said, uh, come on in. And the bar bartender's like, uh, we are hosting a wedding today. And my husband's like, we are the wedding. <laughs> yeah, um, could I get a couple of glasses of champagne? And he said, no problem. And he sat me down at a table and the whole place was empty. And he said, we did it. It's done. Mm. Doesn't matter. We did it. We did the big bilingual Catholic ceremony, <laughs> stand up, stand down, sit mm. down. Like, my family was giving me the evil eye the whole time. They're like, what is happening here? Why are we sitting and kneeling? What's happening? Because I married a Catholic. Yeah. So um, he was like, it's okay now. Have a drink. Mm -hmm. We're, it's all good. Now it's just party time. Yeah. And so if there's a moment where you're feeling that fluster, mm -hmm. 
step aside with your partner if you can and just have a quiet moment away from all of the chaos mm -hmm. because there will be chaos right and have a point person so no one comes up to you and says by the way the bathroom's dirty okay. like my aunt did oh, okay because i don't need to know that <laughs> no, that's the bride you don't need to know that go talk to my sister or somebody absolutely, else absolutely absolutely anything else you're nervous about you got it all <sighs> under control honey um i don't know i'm just nervous about i guess you know, like you, there's so much focus on the actual day itself, and once the day wraps up, you know, it's like okay, like the rest of our life, like I know. you know what I mean. So like, what will that look like? But obviously, you know, you don't know. You just have to kind of, I guess, you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out. Yeah. Uh, you know, I never give advice on parenting. I never give advice on marriage because at the end of the day, everyone's got to walk their own mm -hmm. walk and their own path. Mm -hmm. And I can, like, I can say what's working for us, but it's like you're marrying a completely different individual, yeah. and you are a completely different individual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all I would say is keep an open open mind because you guys design the story that's going to work for you no one else love that yeah, yeah. no one else love that. okay it's been great chatting yeah, with you girl great. i'm excited Thanks. for your wedding and yeah, i guess no party. singles party no sorry okay. <laughs>